In this video, we're going to introduce to you listings profiles within Bella. One of the more popular and powerful features that takes the profiles features to a new level by allowing us to create templated repeatable approaches to create new listings where we have many attributes that might be shared. In cases where you might have listings you want to create where details like tags, price, inventory, shipping are all identical, Listings Profiles allows us to create them faster and easier than ever. In this video, we'll cover how to create new listings profiles, how to create one from an existing listing, how to edit them, how to copy them, and how to manage and delete them. So let's get started. You'll find Profiles in the left-hand navigation. If we click on Profiles, we'll see Listings Profiles as an option below. In the view, we'll see all of the listings profiles we've already created, where we'll be able to see what shops they're connected to, what attributes are included and excluded, as well as which listings have been created from that listing profile. So let's get started by first creating a new listings profile, where we'll see create as an option at the top of our screen. Clicking create will begin our workflow. We'll first begin by giving this profile a name. Next, we'll select which of our connected shops we want to include in this profile. And then in the builder, we'll see all of the attributes that we can define within listing profiles. You'll also notice that there's a toggle switch on the far right that allows for us to include or exclude attributes as we see fit. In this case, to keep things simple, we'll build a simple listings profile and exclude many of these attributes. You'll note as we go through, that in some cases attributes have the Vela tab, which allows for us to apply changes to both of the shops we've selected within that attribute. You'll also note in some cases that we can select from our profiles, in this case a tags profile. This is a detail we'll cover in more detail in a separate video. So let's get started by adding some tags to this listing profile. And with the Vela tab selected, we'll apply them to both of our shops. Note that we always need to separate our tags by commas. As we build out our tags, you'll also notice that we can make individual changes to each shop afterwards, in cases where we might want to add one or two that are specific to each channel. Moving on, we'll exclude price and we'll exclude inventory once again to keep this demonstration simple. Variations, you'll once again see the option to choose a variations profile if you wish, a detail for another video. In listings detail, because we've selected both an Etsy shop and a Shopify shop, we'll fill in the necessary information to make this profile more complete. We'll select the relevant categories with an Etsy to define this listing. You'll see we have the optional fields, which in this case we won't include. In Shopify, we'll have our product type and vendor, where we'll also see that we can add new product types and new vendors in real time. Next, we'll exclude personalization, and note that personalization is an Etsy-only feature. And in shipping, we'll use some of our existing shipping profiles to make life easy for Etsy, then we'll fill in the weight, the country or region, and then lastly the HS code to fill in the information for our Shopify listing. We'll see that search engine listing details are automatically excluded and we'll leave it that way. Now all we need to do is save this profile and we'll see that we've created a new profile called Profile for Clocks that includes tags, listing details, and shipping for two shops. Let's next show you how we would use this profile. Back in the Listings menu, we'll see Create Listings at the top, where if we start to create a new listing, at the top of the screen we'll see that option to choose a profile to begin. We'll see our new profile and select it, and then toggling through those attributes, we will see that the listing profile has defined those attributes for us to start building a new listing based off of. Once we've filled in all of those blanks, 
will then have the option at the bottom to either publish, either as an active or a draft listing, or we can save. In this case, we won't fill out this listing to keep the demo brief. The next thing we'll show you is how to create a new listing profile based off of an existing listing. So in this case, we'll see on the bottom, we have an option to save as profile, where if we like all of the details of this particular phone case, we can build a profile off of it and then edit it to then publish other phone case listings. So once we've created this profile, we'll then see that as an option where when we click through, we'll see that we can now go through and edit just as before and include or exclude certain attributes. Once we're happy with it, we can then save it where we can either save the existing profile or save a new, which would create a copy at the same time. So we'll update it and we'll see in just a matter of seconds that we've created a new listing profile that includes those attributes from the original phone case listing, including description, tags, inventory, and more. We could then perform further edits or create listings based off of this. We can edit any of our profiles at any time, following the same workflow that we did before. To demonstrate this, we'll simply add title as an attribute to that clock profile we built previously, where we'll see that now title is an included attribute where we could build new listings off of this. The easiest way to create a new profile is simply by copying an existing one, where we'll see in just a few clicks, we can copy one of our existing where we could perform more edits. To manage our listing profiles, we can always delete them to clean up our workspace by clicking delete, where we'll only delete the profile, not the listings themselves. As a last note, know that we can't apply these listing profiles to existing listings and overwrite their details. We can only create new ones. So that's listing profiles. Thanks for joining us.